if they get rainfall, they do often occur in these intensive bursts of convective rainfall. And so from that point of view, having an intensive rainfall event like this is not completely unprecedented. What is clear is that this was a very high intensity event. There was about a year and a half worth of rain falling during around a day. And that is clearly a big event and, um, and probably the biggest event they have measured in the UAE. Uh, but some years ago, there was an event that was nearly as big. And so, so these things do happen. And you should also realize that um, the rainfall tends to be very localized. And then especially this case, we were kind of unlucky that it was localized around the Abu, uh, sorry, around the Dubai area. And, and, and of course, um, wreak havoc with, uh, with the infrastructure there. First of all, perhaps I should confirm that as far as we've been told by people at, at NCM, and there's absolutely no reason to doubt them, uh, is that they actually did not fly during the, the event itself. There was no, no interaction with this particular rain event. And the big reason for that, and I would have, and every expert in the world would agree on that, is if you have a big major weather event happening that will produce lots of rain, there's obviously absolutely no use, interest, or effect in doing any cloud seeding in something like that. This weather event was predicted several days in advance. And it was also predicted at least a day in advance that they probably would get more than a year's worth of rainfall over Dubai. So people knew this was going to happen. They did not mess with that. With that. And, even, and even if they wanted to, they couldn't. There was, there's no option to do that. Now, cloud seeding is um, a technique where you use planes to, to spread various types of salts. They are very common salts, even table salt or dry ice or silver iodide into the, typically the base of the cloud, but you can also do it from the top of the cloud. And the idea is then that you induce that cloud to produce raindrops rather than just cloud drops. One of the issues with uh, clouds, and especially in the Middle East, is that the drops that make up the clouds are too small. And to produce rain, these drops need to come together and produce a raindrop. You have perhaps need hundreds of thousands or um, perhaps millions of very small cloud drops to produce a single raindrop. And so one of the other techniques that is being considered is to, um, to put in sort of intermediate size salt crystals, which sort of act as a bridge between the small cloud drops and the big raindrops. But it's fair to say there's lots of um, um, physical mechanisms at play and it's a very complex process in all fairness. In fact, the variability of cloud systems is so large that often it is very hard to measure whether there is a clear effect from cloud seeding. At the same time, um, um, countries like that do persist with it simply for, this, for the reason that any small benefit is going to be useful for them. At the moment, we are not at a stage where we can literally target ideas of 
cloud seeding in all over an agricultural area to enhance the rainfall for that. That is simply not the level of, of control or or in or intervention that we have access to.